Hello everyone, my name is Bianca Hoke and I am a Solutions Engineer here at Prefect. In this video, we are going to be reviewing how to send Slack notifications using automations with Cloud 1.0. I will also be demonstrating how sending Slack notifications is accomplished in Cloud 2.0 using Slack webhook blocks and notifications. These features are very useful for those of us who would like to be notified on the state of our workflows without having to monitor them directly ourselves. First, let's take a look at automations in 1.0. Here's a flow that is very important to me. I have already registered it and it is visible within my Cloud 1.0 UI. I also have a local agent deployed in a separate terminal that is ready to intercept the flow and send it to the cloud when it is run. I'd like to receive a Slack notification whenever this flow reaches a completed state. I have created a Slack app and an incoming webhook to use for the notification using the Slack website's step-by-step -step instructions for creating apps and webhooks. The URL for the incoming webhook is an essential piece for creating our automation. After copying the webhook URL, I stored it within the Cloud 1.0 UI as a secret. After creating the secret, I created my automation. This part is fairly easy. I just had to select the events that trigger my automation and the action that is taken in response to the events. The action in this case is to send a Slack message using the webhook URL I stored as the secret. Once that is done, I can test out this automation by doing a quick run of my flow. A new run is created. Awesome, there's our Slack notification. Now let's move our demonstration to Cloud 2.0. First, let's send a Slack notification using a Slack webhook block. Again, I will need a webhook URL to store within the block. For the purpose of this demo, I have created another app with a different name just so that we can identify the source of the message a bit easier. Let's create the block. Paste the URL. Awesome. Once the block is saved, we can now adjust our flow so that it is calling the block within the code. The important flow .py file is what our code looks like without calling the block. The notification block.py is the same flow with a few lines of code to call the block. The first line being importing the Slack webhook module, the second line being loading the Slack webhook block, which in this case it will be called test for Slack block. And the last line being our hello from prefect message. Now, let's run this in our terminal and watch the magic happen. Wonderful, there's our notification. Now let's talk about notifications in Cloud 2.0, which is another way that we can send alerts to our Slack channel. Again, I will need a webhook URL to pass to the notification. For the purpose of this demo, I have created another app with a different name just so that we can identify the source of the message a bit easier. Now let's create our notification. We can specify the states we want to trigger in this alert, and we can also determine the tags we want to apply to this notification. The tags will filter flow runs so that only flow runs with matching tags will trigger this notification. We are going to leave it as all tags. And for the state, we are going to select completed. We can also designate that it is a Slack webhook that we're using and paste in the webhook URL. And now we can create our notification. 
For this example, we can run our original code. Notifications do not need to be called from within the code like blocks are. Very cool. There's our Slack message. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy engineering.